Greetings, fellow history adventurers. I'm Professor Arthur Winslow, delighted to guide you today through a historical tapestry woven with innovation and mystery. We're setting our sights on a discovery that will revolutionize your understanding of ancient technology. Yes, the Antikythera mechanism, a creation so sophisticated it's been rightfully hailed as the world's earliest analog computer. Picture this, a weathered shoebox-sized enigma resting unseen for centuries beneath the Aegean waves until its accidental unearthing by Greek sponge divers in 1901. This wasn't merely a hall of ancient relics, my dear friends. It was a veritable time capsule that beckoned us to reconsider the capabilities of ancient minds. This artifact extends an invitation to peer into a bygone era of ingenuity that will compel you to rethink what you know about our historical timeline. Before we immerse ourselves in the fascinating details of this mechanical marvel, allow me to whet your intellectual appetite. We'll soon explore parallels between this ancient device and our modern computers, connections that underscore a legacy of innovation beyond its time. Transport yourself to the year 1901. The serene island of Antikythera is unassuming, yet beneath its coastal waters, history waits to surface. Just imagine the astonishment of those divers as they retrieved an object so encrusted in the shells of time that its true nature was initially masked. A corroded mass of metal destined to alter our historical narrative. Upon careful restoration, the artifact revealed a complexity unmatched by anything else from antiquity. This extraordinary piece, dated to around 100 BCE, would come to be known as the Antikythera Mechanism, challenging everything we thought we knew about the technological prowess of ancient Greece. Now let us dive into the intricacies of this astounding device. The Antikythera mechanism is far more than a mere relic. Enclosed in a modest wooden case, no larger than a shoebox, lies a symphony of meticulously crafted bronze gears, each component a testament to ancient precision. These gears, at least 30 in number, are as perfectly fashioned as those in clocks constructed two millennia later. Its function was celestial, a complex orrery modeling the movements of heavenly bodies, the sun, the moon, and the planets known to the ancients. Consider the engineering feat required to produce such fine workmanship in 100 BCE, a precision that wouldn't resurface until the Age of Enlightenment. The Antikythera mechanism isn't merely a sight to behold, it is an engine of astronomical prediction. It foretold solar and lunar eclipses, demystified lunar phases, and even pinpointed the timing of the Olympic Games, an achievement truly ahead of its time. Most remarkable, perhaps, is the device's lunar mechanism, an arrangement of gears that captured the moon's irregular elliptical orbit with astonishing accuracy, acknowledging concepts not commonly attributed to ancient science. Recall the connection I proposed earlier. Despite a 2,000-year gap, this device bears surprising similarities to the computers of our era with its dials and pointers serving as an ancient display and a hand crank as its input method. The Antikythera mechanism was indeed programmable. It executed calculations comparable in complexity to those performed by modern devices. The Antikythera mechanism invites us to reassess our perceptions of ancient innovation. If the Greeks were capable of such sophistication in 100 BCE, what other revelations might still be shielded by time's embrace? It's no wonder some researchers suggest the intriguing Silurian hypothesis, which speculates upon the existence of technologically advanced civilizations long before recorded history, though this remains speculative. Uh, despite our advances in understanding, the Antikythera mechanism remains veiled in mystery. A mere fraction of it has survived, sparking curiosity and scholarly debate. Cutting-edge imaging has recently uncovered inscriptions, clues akin to an ancient user manual, yet many uncertainties linger. Who exactly crafted this device, and for what detailed purpose? Were there others? 
As we wrap up this enlightening journey through the corridors of time, I hope you've been as captivated as I am by the imaginative brilliance of our ancestors. The Antikythera mechanism stands as a testament to human creativity and technological advancement, compelling us to view history through a lens of wonderment and inquiry. If this exploration of ancient wonders has ignited your curiosity, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Share your musings in the comments below. Explore what historical mysteries intrigue you or what aspects of the Antikythera mechanism prompt your fascination. Remember, the study of history transcends dates and facts. It's an expedition to grasp our shared human narrative. As the Antikythera mechanism reminds us, that journey can lead us to startling discoveries. Until we meet again, this is Professor Arthur Winslow, signing off with a friendly reminder that the past is ever ripe with surprises. Keep your questions coming, keep exploring the unknown, and above all, keep learning.